welcome back to uh, Excel tutorials. Uh, we're going to be looking at the well lookup variable this time. So I'm just going to select human soldier. So we um, we're going to have a look at the lookup value variable now. Valuable heck. Anyways. Health is also fine. So this is used for attack, defense, and the first special. Basically used for deciding your character's stats without dice rolls. So yes, the race and the class determine what the character is. Of course you can add these in yourself, you know, delete the code and then add a number in. Now, all up to you. So uh, yes, now I'll show you a quick example. Over here, if I go to the drop down menu and choose elf so that is two type two in there over here you can see the character changes so one we got two and we got three dwarf as you can see over here so we're going to choose elf so two we get plus two accuracy our attack is decent but our defense is low our class, we're going to choose, so here we've got Soldier, Archer, Scout, Thief, and Mage. So we're going to choose Archer because it's an Elf. So that's two. Now our ranged attack has gone plus one. So when we're fighting from range, we get plus one attack. That's nice and all. So this is simply using the lookup variable up here. So I'm going to copy this. So control C. I'm going to show you it in here. So I press control V here. I'm going to you know, go through the demo of what this all equals. So in order to execute a command, you need to have the equal sign, and then in capitals, the name of the command. In this case, it is lookup without. There we go. In this case, it's lookup and we type equals lookup to get the lookup command it gives you a little assistance down here lookup value that's the location that it's going to look up and if there's a value included example if something is lower than a certain amount or whatever uh... that's wrong that's if anyway so yes this location where you want to look up this is a list of things you want to look for and these are the results that are going to be typed into the box that this is getting written in. Um, it's going to display the result, which is in commas over here. So this will look at C7, so where the class is. And if the class is 1, down here in specials, it will say attack plus 1. Now I don't have 5 classes, so I'm going to get rid of those and get rid of these so now we got 1 equals attack plus 1 2 equals uh, range attack plus 1 and 3 equals uh, loot plus 1 move plus 1 now this is specific to the race and not the actually hmm. No, um, yeah, no. We probably need to change this because we had different classes in the previous one. So I'll control C this and then delete it, move it down to where the class modifier is. So here we got soldier, archer, and mage. So soldier is equal to the value of 1, which means attack plus 1. I'm also going to add a defense buff there as well. So defense plus one. Press enter. Not slash. Over here we got archer. Archer is two. Uh, which is range attack plus one. That's good. That's good. Um, <coughs> right. And then we got 
the last one, which is mage. So mage, you're gonna have ranged attack plus three. But we're gonna have defense minus one and attack minus two. Okay. <clears throat> so human. Oops, no, that's <laughs> that's not what I want. So a uh, soldier, archer, and finally mage. Now we're going to set the same thing up for race. So we're going to click here. I'm going to control V this. And I'm going to click where the race variable is after <laughs> deleting that. Okay. Backspace the location out. I'm going to click where race is. So the assess the location. Press enter. Now, <coughs> the race is one. No. Got all this and all this and all this. Whoa. Okay. So I'm gonna quickly look how it was used in the previous one. So here, accuracy, looting, attack. Okay. So attack. A C stands for accuracy. And looting. Okay, and that's the buffs right there. So a human has two attack, an elf has two accuracy, and a dwarf has two looting. Woo! So the human is the main melee class. Um. But you'll notice we have this attack and this defense here. Now what are they, you know, what's going to modify them? Uh, simple, if we click here, the race is going to modify them. So I'm going to quickly show you that. So here, the class isn't going to modify it, the races. <laughs> so 1, 2, and 3. So attack equals for 1. Tackle equal. So let's just make the default attack one, so that you know it doesn't get too overpowered. Of course, you can change this. Wait, two? What the? Of course, you can change this whenever. Sorry, that's defense. Yes, attack. We're going to do the same thing. Um. There we go. There's a lot of ones here, and as you can see, oh, it's a lot more generous over here. It's really the class and the race that's going to modify your stats to the point of, you know, being important. Now I'm going to add defense to the dwarves, sorry, humans, and then the dwarves, like that. Okay. So elves are primar primarily mages and archers. And I think that's the extent of the um, VLOOKUP command. Wait, no it isn't. It really isn't. We've got a lot more to do. Um, <clears throat> right, that uses if and VLOOKUP. So I'll show you what uh, if does uh, right now. So. Oh wait, we also have this, which I'll just add in later. Miscellaneous, you know, character thing on the side. <laughs> Shows what your character is. Reference. So yes. <laughs> I mean, six attack is OP, that's a full six-sided die. So, um, yeah. I'm going to show you this command now, so without further delay, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.